welcome back to the channel of Ecoholics. So in today's video, you are going to learn about the foreign trade multiplier. So when we talk about foreign trade multiplier, the two things are part of the foreign trade. One is export and the another is import. So when I'm saying foreign trade multiplier, am I talking about export multiplier or import multiplier? So we will learn that when the questions are asking you about foreign trade multiplier, they're asking you import or the export multiplier. All right, so when I talk about imports, import is the amount spent by the people of my country on the goods and services produced by another countries. Similarly, export is the amount of income, amount I receive from the people of other country for the goods and services produced by the people of my country. So in other words, import of one country are exports of another country. When I talk about import, so if let's say, if we take an example of India, in India, if the income of people is going to rise, maybe they will increase their amount of imports also. But if the people of India is rising, they cannot control the amount of exports. Since exports are imports of another country, so the amount of export, the value of export depends on the income of foreign countries, the other countries. So export is that variable which is not in our hands. I cannot affect the value of, I cannot affect the amount of exports because it is dependent on the income of foreign countries, the other countries. But the income of my country is going to affect my import amount. So whenever we are asked about foreign trade multiplier, majority of the time they are talking about import multiplier. Export multiplier comes to the picture if and only if the exports are not exogenous and they are indirectly related to the income of your economy. When I talk about import multiplier. So when I talk about import multiplier, what does it mean? It just means that okay, if my income is going to increase, I know this thing I'm saying if my income is increasing, my imports will change, they will increase maybe. But the thing is, the concept of multiplier is very simple. So when your imports are increasing, right, when your imports are increasing, what effect they are creating on your income. Because under the Keynesian economy, whenever any one variable changes, it has a capacity of creating multiple time effects on the income. That is what is known as the multiplier effect. So over here, I also want to find through import multiplier that what will be the change in income due to change in imports. So in this video, we are going to learn about how to derive the import multiplier. So let us start with the equilibrium condition of your open economy. So in an open economy, the equilibrium condition is also given by y equals to ad. And in aggregate demand, I write c plus i plus g plus net exports, where my net exports are nothing they are just the difference of exports and imports. So when it comes to consumption, the C, consumption function takes the form C bar plus B bar. Over here, C bar is my autonomous consumption, whereas B is my marginal propensity to consume. Similarly, I would be taking I as autonomous. It's going to be a fixed value. G in the same way autonomous. Exports also, but when I come to imports, I will be taking an import function. So for import function, we can write m bar, which is the autonomous imports, plus small m y, where this small m represents marginal propensity to import. So I'm going to substitute the values over here. So I will be getting c bar plus b y plus i plus g plus x minus m bar minus m y. So this is what I have got. 
Now what to do to get any kind of multiplier? I'm saying only if the imports are going to change, this M is going to change, what effect it is going to create on Y. So what I'm going to do is I will collect my terms of Y on the left hand side. So if I take these terms to the other side, I would be getting Y minus BY. This will go on and will we will have addition M1. Now when I come to all these things, C bar, I, G, X and even M bar, they are not changing, correct? They are not changing, only the imports are changing, right? So I am going to write them in this way. I plus G plus X minus M bar, like this. I have written, num written them down all. Now let's come to this, let me take Y common. So I am going to get 1 minus B plus M equals to C bar plus I plus G plus X minus M bar. Now I'm saying that the imports are changing. So whenever imports will change, the imports are going to change income, right? In two ways. They are going to affect income here and they are going to affect income here. So whenever this side of the scenario is going to change, the imports are going to change, I'm going to have this thing. So I can take this to the denominator. So let us say now the imports are changing. So if imports will change, there will be a change in Y. This is a constant number, so it's going to be same. And from this bracket, I just have change in imports. So if I take this to the other side, this is my import multiplier, which is given by 1 minus B plus M over here. So let me write it here. So import multiplier is given by 1 upon 1 minus B plus M where B is the marginal propensity to consume and M is marginal propensity to import. So whenever the imports are going to change by one unit, the Y, the output or the equilibrium income is going to change by these number of units. This was the derivation of import multiplier in Keynesian economy. We have other things related to the foreign trade multipliers, the numericals and everything. You can check the channel of Ecoholics for all such videos. If you want more such videos, please let us know in the comment section below. Please like, share, subscribe to the channel. Thank you everyone.